Now, imagine you are a businessman or businesswoman. I can just give the instance, you know, uh, using the cake seller, the woman who does bean cake as example. That's one of the mean, the least we can actually use. Now, imagine somebody who has the habit of drinking beer. You take a bottle of beer daily. And a bottle of beer costs, now some, the least you can get is 400 naira. Now, when accumulated over a period of, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, a year, that amounts to a whooping sum of uh, uh, 144,000 naira. Then when accumulated over a period of 10 years, what does it show, expect to you? That's a whooping sum of 1,408,000 uh, 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 um, naira. 440,000 naira. Is it making sense to you? Well, now the question is, if you decide to take this shot not to drink that bottle of beer, and you decide to be trained that 400 naira in a particular saving or a particular account or safe, now in 10 years you would have succeeded in gathering that amount of money for yourself, which would be enough for you to do some things. Now let's talk about phone habits. Today, our phones, we have developed sentimental attachment to our phones, our handsets. Even a research was released recently that revealed that we touch our phones as much as 150 times daily. <laughs> Is it amazing to you? Now, some persons cannot rest or cannot have peace until if, if they don't have a recharge cards or call cards in their phones. Now, some of us, we spend as much as 500 naira recharging our phones. Now, if you spend 500 naira daily recharging your phone, at the end of one year, you would have spent 1.8 million naira on just recharge card. And at the end of 10 years, if you accumulate it over a period of uh, uh, um, uh, 10 years, uh, um, it will amount to, uh, sorry, over a period of 10 years, 500 naira will amount to a whoopee sum of 1.8 million. Then over a period of 10 years, if it's 1,000 naira you spend on recharge card daily, it will amount to a whoopee sum of 3.6 million naira 3.6 million naira making calls and the question is these calls you make no don't get don't get it twisted i don't have any problem with making calls yes because calls you know are part of you know the things we have to do our daily activities we have to do you know to keep life going to keep our businesses going but the question is what value is the call giving to you now you see today a lot of people spend this recharge card calling one girl, you know, how are you? Have you eaten? What kind of food did you eat? Who cooked the food? Wasting use, wasting 3.6 million naira on frivolous communications. Communications that are not beneficial to you. So you see, you are actually having devour. That's devour. You are devouring. You, devour is actually devouring your, your, your resources unknown to, unknown to you. But in this case, you are the devour. 3.6 million making useless calls. Yes, we agree there are people who will spend these call cards to make more money for themselves. Now, if they spend 3.6 million in 10 years, they would have made as much as 100 million or 50 million in these same 10 years. That's understood. But the gospel of this message is the calls you are making, what relevance is it bringing to you? If it's not yielding any relevance, then the cumulative value theory of money spells that that money is better saved for it to be useful to you at the end of 10 years. That is it. It comes in different forms. Now, today, a lot of people do Naira bet, They do Babi Jebu. They do uh, Loto. They do Pool. They do different kind of, you know, Ponzi schemes that they put in money and the monies never come back to them. These monies that they spend daily, there are people who play pool 200 naira daily. For them, it's significant. It doesn't make sense to them. But when accumulated over a period of 10 years or more, it forms a critical mass that becomes very relevant and important to you. Now, the long and short of what we're trying to say here now is, you know, when you talk about devourer, there are a lot of, your devourer could be your attitude, you know, some behavior some habit you have developed, that you are spending money daily from your business and your business is going down unknowingly to you. It could be by way of Okada. Now, the woman who spends 200 naira entering Okada, 
sometimes you find out that the distance is something the woman can actually track. In those days, people lived longer, you know, because they, they were used to exercise. They did a lot of trekking. But today, this generation, we hardly find people who can trek because everything has been made soft for us. You know, you see somebody, a young lady or a guy, to move from point A to point X, which might not necessarily be uh, up to about 100 meters, now they must take care of Okada. So it, it has become our lifestyle today. Now, if that person who sells cake bean, uh, bean cake decides to trek, which is doable, such a person would have saved that whooping sum of uh, 720,000 naira for a period of 10 years. So that's what the cumulative value theory of uh, uh, theory value of money actually suggests. Now, so many of the monies we spend today, you know, we could actually save them by trying to, as in, take the other part, the alternative part, trying to say, okay, now rather than drinking maybe two bottles of beer daily, let me do one. If you do one daily, you would have also succeeded in saving the whooping sum or critical mass is going to accumulate into at the end of the day, which could be useful to you for some other much important things. So from this theory we've just talked about, you can now find out that it's actually funny for you to say somebody is poor. Because to the woman who says bean cake, for you, you feel the woman is poor. So there's really nobody who is poor. Because the person you call poor spends at least 100 naira doing some things that does not even add values to his or her life daily. Or spends 200 naira, or 300 naira, or 600 naira for something that does not have value. There are some people who drink Orobo, a bottle of Orobo. Pepsi, 50 cm Pepsi daily. They use it to download the gilet bread. Now, if you accumulate, if you calculate a bottle of Pepsi today is about 200 naira. Then with bread, add the bread today is about 500 naira. Now, that is aside the normal meal they take daily. And they tell you they are poor. They don't have money. Now, if you accumulate it over a period of 10 years, it will amaze you how much it's going to, you know, turn into. For time's sake, I think we shall be, you know, putting a stop to it here. Thank you very much for following me onto this edition. You know, keep flying and remain on top till I come your way in our next edition. Marcus Ekure is